Birthright Israel is a propaganda trip and it's happening right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to day 7 of Boycott Birthright and other free trips to Israel. Our series where we've been following the birthright trip going on right now and exposing the propaganda behind it. We have just a few more days of this series left, but there's still so much more to know. And if you guys want to keep expanding your knowledge, join us for a webinar on June 15th at 6.30pm Central where we're going to talk more about the harmful effects of birthright. But let me not get too ahead of myself here, let's focus on today, where birthright goers are yet again in occupied Palestine, enjoying our beautiful country that so many Palestinians don't get to enjoy themselves. And yes, that is foreshadowing for what's about to come. So here's today's itinerary from the Taglet Birthright website, and I don't know about you, but after doing this series, so many things are just popping out at me and screaming propaganda. But we can't go over all of it right now, so I just want to point out two things very quickly. Here where it says, catch a sunrise that will stay with you for the rest of your life, and tour the mountaintop which became synonymous with Jewish audacity and bravery. If you haven't, definitely go check out day three's video of this series where we talk about the harm in attaching the Jewish identity so closely to birthright trips and the impact that that has. But that's not what I'm going to talk about in this video. What I actually want to focus on today is this right here, float in the Dead Sea. Let's talk a little bit about the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is very mineral rich, which gives it a lot of economic value that has historically been very important to the Palestinian population, as well as every colonial power that has been in Palestine. And what does Israel do when it sees something that has any economic value for Palestinians? They steal it, which they did, and they exercise total control over the Dead Sea, and the northern basin even lies in occupied Palestine. Israeli settlements and international businesses are backed by state-funded initiatives and have established a very profitable tourism sector and extractive industries based off the Dead Sea's natural resources. And of course, Palestinians remain effectively excluded from this. Just a quick side note, if you ever see companies like Ahaba selling Dead Sea products, they are 100% profiting off the occupation of Palestine. So when Israel facilitates these international companies to profit off of the natural resources of Palestine and ushers in these foreigners telling them it's their birthright to float in the Dead Sea while not allowing Palestinians to profit off of these resources themselves or even travel to the Dead Sea and visit something in their own country that they were born in, that is propaganda, and that is why you should not go on birthright. If you've been following along this series, you know what we must do in order to support Palestinian liberation, and that is BDS. Boycott, divestment, and sanctions. Boycott birthright and all free propaganda trips to Israel. And also boycott all companies profiting off of the resources of the Dead Sea. And of course, join us for the last few days of this series and join us for the webinar that was mentioned in the beginning of this video. See you guys tomorrow. Bye!